just loving hanging out in the shade. They're loving hanging out in the shade. Let's see if we can get the cam in here into the shade where we can actually see what we're seeing. There they are. Giant rats. They sure are cute though. Couple of little babies, mama. The other day I had the males in here had the had a five pointer in here with the fuzz and the horns and his son probably was. He was probably only a three pointer, but uh yeah, there they are. They're just they're just enjoying the shade and the cool grass. Guys enjoying the shade and the cool grass? I don't have my tripod, so I'm a little shaky right now. But there it is. They're just enjoying the grass. There they go. Yeah, they just love hanging out in the shade here on the grass. Yeah, they do. And there's more of them over here. And there's a hanging out here at no tripod again. So it's going to be a little shaky. And there they are. Mama and a couple babies there. Oh yeah, just hanging out in the shade. As long as they don't start robbing my bird food over here. My bird food, where'd it go? Oh, I'm way off, okay. As long as they don't start robbing my bird food up here, up here I'm okay. And there they are, just hanging out. They're loving the shade. Loving that cool grass shade, giant rats. Giant rats in Central Oregon, hanging out in the backyard. Like I say, they like that shade on a warm day. It's not that warm today yet, but it's, I guess it's going to get pretty warm. They just love that cool grass. They like to hang out on that cool grass. Don't be robbing my bird food, though, now. No, don't be robbing my bird food. This one over here just chilling out in a different position. Usually they like to kind of hang out together. Just enjoying the shade. And the nice cool grass. Giant rats love the cool grass. Yeah, you gotta admit, they are pretty cute. They're pretty cute. Yeah, when they're young. Well, you know, they're all cute when they're young. Yes, they are. They're cute, cute youngsters. They kind of lo lost their spots now. They're they're getting older. There, they had the spots a little while back. Okay, I scared them a little bit, and they run away. I don't know if I can see them here, but there's a mirror there at the fence, and they are checking themselves out in the mirror and going, "Who is that?" When you see that mirror on the fence, you think you can kind of just walk through it because it's reflecting the forest. But there they are. Checking out the mirror. Again, this is quickie stuff. I'm using the zoom. And I don't have the tripod, so it can be a little shaky there. But there they are. They're just checking themselves out in the mirror. Those little fawnies. Yes, they are. Look at me in the mirror. And they give themselves a little kiss and then they move on. Okay. So here's mommy. Mommy didn't scare away. She's still laying right there. She's she knows I don't want her up by that bird food though. Yeah, you better stay back there. Yeah. Don't come get my bird food now. Don't come get my bird food now. Now, you gotta admit, that's pretty cute when they, they put their neck right down there on the grass. Cool all them big blood veins. Running through their neck. 
get them right down there on the grass and just snuggle into that grass you little deer you you little you little giant rat you yeah flop them ears a little bit and just getting right down in there and just loving it you know they're just loving it and they love that grass it's all organically fed no chemicals there it's nice cool moisture oh they love that Now, now here's the guy that really tweaks me, okay, little squirrely mo. I don't mind them drinking, and they eat the bird, see, they love the sunflower, but then what the guy does is he's got all he could possibly eat, but then he wants to bury more seed for later, and what he does is he comes down here into this moss rockway that I have created and uh, out here out in this area the same thing and he always wants to bury the seed under the frickin moss so he'll flip the moss up a chunk of the moss out of there but he doesn't put it back so then we gotta go put the frickin moss back and lay it down and he kind of irks me because he really messes that up. And I put a lot of work into that. But he's up there. Where is he? He's up there and he's getting himself a nice drink. So, eh, good for him. You know, you get yourself a drink, buddy. Don't be tearing my moss up, though. 